so welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today's video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the iPhone 15 Pro. Now I just upgraded from the 14 Pro, which I did a video comparing the 14 to the 12. If you want to see that, check out my channel. This is not going to be a comparison video and this is not going to be a review. I just took some footage, kind of vlog style a little bit and I uh, took the camera out to kind of see what this camera can do. Mainly my goal is to show people who may want to get this phone for the camera, especially video, but I'll show some photo stuff too. I'm gonna show you what it possibly might be capable of by showing you some of the features highlighted. All right, here's a test of the front camera. I'm also uh, going to out stepping, get some steps in, trying to maintain 10,000 steps a day, but this is also I uh, just got this phone, so it's a good test of the different video. So this is the selfie cam, and every footage that I show you today is gonna, and mostly the audio and the footage is gonna be from this camera, except for whenever I go back to the studio, gotta step out, get these steps in, try to walk for about an hour or so. Yeah, let's do this. So, so I did a video of the little clip of the action mode and I'm walking normal, but from what I saw in that one clip, and I'll see this clip later, but you're seeing it right now, uh, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. What do you guys think? I'm bumping on purpose. And here's uh, some cinematic shots on the cinematic mode. You see the little depth of field that it has. Does this look cinematic? How's that transition? Let's bring it back. How's that? How's this? How's this shot right here? Is that super cinematic? <laughs> so I'm very impressed by the cinematic mode, but one thing I did notice is that it works a lot better with people than objects, as you can see here with this shot of the boat. But check out this next scene. I think it came out pretty good. So I'm not gonna lie, like it's some big overhaul of the phone, but there is some incremental changes. And uh, one of the big, yeah, it's not a big feature, but one of the features that I like that they included is that they put focal lens in the camera. So you got 24, of course you got the wide angle, I mean the ultra wide angle, but you got 24 millimeter, you got 28 millimeter, and you got 35 millimeter. Oh, they, uh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to talk between the cars, but like I was saying, you got 24, 28, and 35 millimeters. And as a, a camera enthusiast, I've been getting the cameras over the last few years. I love the different focal lengths and 35 has become one of my favorite ones. So I love that they included that. And I, I'm glad that it's a part of the main camera. Now, obviously it's not gonna be uh, an actual extra camera, but not a phone camera itself is not gonna replace a real camera. So you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it's great because it's always on you and it's always with you, it's always in your pocket. So if you want to take photos, great quality photos, it don't really matter if you have an iPhone or another different phone, but it's good to always have something that can take great images with you so you can capture good memories. So anyways, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite, some of my favorite shots at my favorite focal length with this phone. I'm not gonna lie to you, this cinematic mode is looking pretty good to me. I looked at it on the phone. I haven't looked at it on the screen yet, but um, it's making uh, point shoots cameras. It's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fight. It might be obsolete at this point, but uh, ow! Ah, I just stepped on something. They might be obsolete at this point because these phones are getting pretty damn good. And I'm shooting in it now, so what you guys think?
Also, I want to mention how much I appreciate the fact that this shoots in log. Matter of fact, I'm going to flip it over to log now, and I'll give you my thoughts on how good it grades. Uh, that's a whole different story, but I appreciate it. Hold on, let's, let me get to log. All right, I'm shooting in pro res log, which uh, should give me the most dynamic range. Yeah, it should give me the most dynamic range in video. So we'll see how true that is. <laughs> But either way, I still appreciate that they finally uh, incorporated that into a phone video. So yeah, we'll see how good it looks. But I'm very impressed with the camera, but the camera's been good for a long time on phone, so it's not that much of a leap. I'm nearly done with my steps. I recorded a decent amount of footage, but uh, one thing I can say, you don't wanna wear these uh, foam runners for an extensive walk. I just stepped on so much sharp things, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, wouldn't recommend. Probably something a little bit more, uh, with a little bit better sole on the bottom. You know, this is just a little side. All right, bar. so here's my overall conclusion that this camera is really good, really high quality, but phone cameras have been good for a long time, as I stated in the video. So somebody out there who's considering using this as their video camera, they're probably asking, is it better than a point and shoot camera, like the ZV-1, for example? Now, in some ways, you can say yes, it's more portable than a point and shoot, and you're gonna always have your phone on you, most likely, so you're gonna be more likely to use it and get some crucial moments for your video making. So in that way, it's definitely better. It doesn't have the tactile feel a real camera does, so it kinda of takes away some of the enjoyment of using the camera on this phone. But, like I said, the quality of the image right now is so good, so good. And I love the cinematic mode, the log, you know, they have a lot of high quality features in this phone, which to be fair, is making me want to use this more. If you guys want to see me do a comparison with a point and shoot camera like the ZV-1, then let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you use and uh, what's your opinions on using phones for video making. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage that I showed you today. And hopefully you'll join me next time by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And until the next time, I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>